Hi Cancer, this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2019. Check your moon, Venus and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insight. And to be a part of the Romance Angels Oracle Cards giveaway, just leave a comment letting me know. And by doing so, you've entered messages for Cancer mid-April. We have for cancer. Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has one of those signs or more of those signs in the chart. But you're in this nurturing energy for mid-April. And that's like obvious for Cancer, the nurturing sign. But you're feeling this energy a lot mid-April. We have the lovers. So we have Gemini for some of you. We have the two of pentacles as you're feeling, so trying to balance out your emotions, trying to trying to keep balance, trying to stay steady when it comes to your emotions, your feelings. We have the lovers, so some of you are wanting a connection with someone or to reunite. We have the hierophant. That's how you're seeing them, so they could be they could be very traditional, old-fashioned for some of you. They could be very, could be older than you for some of you. But this person could be someone who teaches, could be a teacher, a mentor. But you're seeing them as, you know, wanting things a certain way for some of you. The two of pentacles and the lovers. Okay, so you're definitely trying to grab a hold of your emotions. Like some of you are trying to try not to fall in love or not to be too over emotional and just be there for someone, I guess. Just trying to be there for someone. Let's see what's going on with them. Ten of pentacles. Okay, they feel like they're waiting in vain. For the seven of pentacles they want things a certain way and it seems like it's not happening for them maybe they want marriage or it could be this could be vice versa it could be you who wants marriage and them who wants more of a lover's type of relationship and you feel like you're waiting in vain but it could be you know this is their side so they're seeing you as the five of wands so maybe there's a lot of conflicts maybe they're seeing you as argumentative or you're seeing them that way if it's vice versa but there's fights someone is um wanting to fight a lot or wanting to get answers wanting th wanting things to be a certain way and it's just not happening at the moment let's see the knight of cups so there is love here there's love you guys have fallen in love or open to love with each other or are in love already but we have the justice card is what's blocking you so there is an imbalance there's a need to find balance um and a, to come to an agreement because you're both not on the same page one person is wanting the lovers the other person is wanting completion like family marriage to settle down so some of you could be with someone older You have the three of pentacles as your outcome. So you may actually end up coming to an agreement and compromising and working together here by the end of this month. Let's see. The lovers. Yeah. 
someone is not wanting to wanting it to be over. It's almost like I'm really seeing that for a lot of you, this is vice versa. So if it is, then just take it as that. But I'm gonna read it as if this is your side. So you're wanting, as far as your side looks, <laughs> you're wanting to stay with this person and have this lovers type of relationship and not get too serious not wanting the burden but not wanting it to end so not wanting to get too serious not wanting it to end i do feel like this is the man who who's feeling that but some of you it could be you two of pentacles Yep, not wanting to be single. Wanting to open up, but you, you're wanting to balance your emotions. Some of you may have opened up a little bit too much, and now you're trying to find balance. Trying to not, you know, open up too much. or trying to pull it back in a bit. The, high, the Hierophant. In reverse, we have Scorpio here for some. They're upset about um, if things that if you separated, they're upset about that. They miss you, of course, with the Five of Cups. It's like they're resistant to change or you're resistant to change in this situation. Someone's not wanting this to end, someone's wanting to work on it, but someone is wanting a little more than the other. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune. They do want this to change. There's three of pentacles in reverse, not being able to work together. They want this to change for the better. They want, or you want that to change. You want this person to, you know, put in as much effort as you do, or they're wanting you to put in as much effort. Seven of pentacles. They want to come out of the cold. If there's separation, again, they miss you. They want to come out of the cold. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Swords, however, there's still conflict. They may feel like you overpowered them or you feel that way if it's vice versa. Meaning, meaning you drained them or they drained you. You're either the person in the back crying or you're the person at the front um, winning. Okay. The Five of Wands. Yep, defensive. Yeah, yeah, you're being defensive. You know, being a Cancer. Okay, there's this defensive energy. And there is Ten of Swords, which is an ending and a starting over so some of you may have you could have already made up after a fight or you're about to make up but you're still defensive here you may feel like they're attacking you when they're not really attacking you but this is how they're seeing you so you're being you know there's conflicts because one of you is defensive knight of cups King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's stability in this love. You could have this, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles, so you could have a stable person in your life, this person. Oops. Okay, Three of Pentacles is your outcome. Victory with the Six of Wands. The Ch 
chariots. Could be dealing with a fellow Cancer. Moving forward. Moving forward. The Ace of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. So, it looks like you may reject them a little bit still. Like you may still be defensive, but you are moving forward in a positive way with this person. And there's Ace of Pentacles, so the, the chance of a new start with this person. Being able to work out your differences and make the relationship work. Let's see. Let's just cancer. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passionate relationship. There's a lot of passionate fights here. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy towards others. My goodness. <laughs> Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It's safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. Basically, this is a painting a picture of giving the relationship a chance, working out these differences, and being lighthearted about it, and not being defensive. You have it safe for you to love, so you being defensive and protecting yourself from probably nothing. Could be just all in your head, you know. It's saying this safe for you to love, so. Let's see. Messages for cancer. Okay. King of Fire, focus, communicate with vision, be a leader, advice from someone creative. So, page of air, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. Basically, harsh communication for some. That could be, you know, just like the five of wands, which is now here <laughs> again. The five of wands, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. There's conflict here. There needs to be, there needs to come to an agreement. Justice, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. So yeah, talk to the person, but don't back down on your beliefs. Awakening, look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself. So yeah, this looks like a break for some of you, but look at it a different way rather than just being defensive or thinking that someone is going to hurt you. Four of water, missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Life experience, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So during this separation, there is a moment for you to, there's something for you to gain, some kind of knowledge, some kind of awakening as we have 
from this conflict, this situation. So I guess things will improve once you take that time. Helpful people, so people around you, your friends and family within the next few months, so it may take a little while before things smooth over, smooth over, so maybe you do need a few months to recover, to heal, to learn um, new lessons. Improving health has to do with healing. Maybe emotionally. Peaceful resolution and get more information. So there is something for you to learn here because you have more information coming to you. But you have peaceful resolution. So things will improve, especially with you being able to work with this person, you know, equal and things moving forward in a positive way. And the Ace of Pentacles, which means a new start with this person. Especially since they're really showing up for a lot of you as a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, but even if they're any other sign, there's still this peaceful resolution. However, there's something that you need to learn from the universe. The universe is trying to show you something and I would look at it as a blessing because it's always good to learn something new from the universe for your life, to improve your life. It's so worth it. It's always frustrating at first, but it's worth it. All right, so give the relationship a chance, but also work on your self-love. That's really important, especially in love, in relationships, because it really affects, it affects relationships big time. So, yep, be lighthearted, take a break. Find out what it is that you need to learn from the universe. Ask your friends for help. And all of this will work out in the, in the end, this relationship. You will be able to cooperate together, to work together, to have a new start, to improve the relationship or the marriage. Okay, so Cancer, this is your reading for mid... April, check your moon, Venus, and rising. If the messages didn't resonate or if you'd like more insights. And if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway, just leave a comment letting me know. And by doing so, you've entered. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.